with. Uh, with that, let's do one thing. Uh, we will switch from the large cap name to the mid cap name now. As promised, we will focus on Satya Industries. The company is a manufacturer of wood and agro based paper and is also engaged in power generation. It is in focus after a second uh, quarter number, which has been healthy, even as it saw a sharp rise in raw material costs. Both revenue and profit after tax, in fact, grew over two folds during the quarter. Rajinder Kumar Bhandari, who is the joint managing director of the company, is joining us now. Mr. Bhandari, good afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us. Oh, uh, well, good afternoon. Yeah. Strong set of numbers this time around. I was looking at your margin guidance as well. You have uh, guided for 100 basis points increase in EBITDA margins in FY23. Your FY22 margin stood at 20.3%. So that would mean 21.3% in FY23. But it is still lower than FY20 margins of 23.1%. Uh, what has led to the sharp fall and when will you get back to that 23% mark? Uh, because we went into expansion last year and our production increased uh, uh, by almost 57% uh, over the last year, but uh, pulping capacity in-house is yet to increase to the higher level. So we have been using waste paper pulp to some extent and imported uh, hardwood, softwood pulp. That led to slightly lower beta margin but overall, if we look at the numbers, the total income went all time high to 464 crore, which was more than 140% plus over the last uh, year, same quarter. And profit paid go, uh, went up to 51 crore, which was 150% on the higher side. And similarly, a beta went up to 93 crore, again, 150% higher over the last year. So numbers otherwise were very encouraging, but these will sequentially keep on improving as we uh, keep on consolidating our expansion output uh, and uh, we increase our in-house pulping capacity. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what is the expectation on volumes going ahead? In Q2, I think your volumes were about 52,000, um, you know, metric tons. How much can that number increase to in Q3 and Q4? Yeah, in uh, Q2, we increased by almost 57% uh, as I told earlier. So last year we did uh, 1,41,000 ton and this year we should be making almost 2,10,000 ton paper. So additional 70,000 ton will be coming from the expanded capacity which next year we uh, intend to increase to total figure from 2 lakh 10,000 ton to 2 lakh 40,000 ton. Yes. So oh. FY23 volumes at 2.1 lakh tons, FY24 will be at 2.5 lakh tons. Yeah, 2.4 to 2.5 lakh tons. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you're talking about additional volumes coming in as well. So at uh, uh, this is at what capacity utilization because capacities will come in right now. And at peak capacity levels, what will the revenue contribution from this new capacity be? Yeah, our capacity at the moment installed is to like uh, 5,000 ton. So we'll be already doing almost 105% capacity utilization this year. And next year, it should be anywhere around 125 to 130 percent capacity utilization and okay. this year top line should be in the range of 1800 crore plus and next year if the present level of price is sustained it should cross 2000 crore yeah okay and from the newer capacity in that 1800 crore rupees how much will come from the new capacity uh total will be one lakh ton next year and this year it will be 70 to 80 thousand Okay. What percentage of your revenue, sir, come in from the education sector and what's driving increased exports from the education sector? Yeah, education overall, uh, what we are supplying to the uh, government sector, textbook boards, it is almost 40% of our total revenue and 60% is coming from the open market. And uh, that percentage, 40%, we intend to maintain even on the increased production level. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you also wrote in your presentation that that 40% comes in at a higher margin. What is the margin yeah. difference between the two segments? How much higher is the government uh, tender? Uh, depending time to time, it is uh, 5 to 10%. 
so on the higher side okay so because we have to yeah account for uh, any increase in cost in the future also so sometime you gain on this account and like in covid period we had the orders in hand and we were doing excellent uh, while other industry was struggling to survive yeah so uh, mr bhandari just a confirmation that 5 to 10% higher in the government sector is it the pricing or the margins are higher by that much yeah uh, prices are almost same okay. but since the grammage is on the higher side so we make higher production we can use more filler the cost of production is on the lesser side so margins are higher yes what percentage of your revenues are exports on the whole uh it is almost 10% is there scope to expand it increase this number yeah depending upon the, the company policies ke uh, bhai if we get good margins in exports only then we uh, do major otherwise we intend to remain within this level of 10 to 15% okay All right Mr yeah. Bhandari it was a pleasure speaking with you sir thanks a lot for joining us and taking us through the plans of the company is going ahead and the production expansion plans that you have in place as well well that's the word coming in from Satya Industries uh, the stock is low by 3.5% but it had rallied in last uh, one week so some profit taking there but good set of numbers reported by the company this time around with that we'll slip into a short break now we'll put focus on Varun Beverages which is buzzing in trade on the back of earnings stay tuned